Hi, my name is Maurice, and today I'd like to show you how you upgrade the Lenovo Y580 notebook to 16 gigabytes of RAM. Um, I have here the Kingston Hyper X 16 gigabyte memory kit, which has a very nice CAS latency, so CL9. Um, basically meaning that you have uh, the lower the latencies of the RAM modules, the faster the modules actually are and the more bandwidth you get. So in practice, it means for you faster games, faster application processing. Um, yeah, just overall faster performance. This is uh, important, especially since the Y580, I've got my notebooks got the um, um, Core i7 processor in it with Intel integrated uh, HD 4000 graphics chips. Uh, embedded graphics chip uh, which will also benefit greatly from uh, reduced um, latency of the RAM modules and the um, or the increased speed basically. So this is my laptop and I'll show you how to build in 16 gigabytes of RAM. Um, first you have to turn it around you see this giant giant case here we have to open up these, the, the bottom of the uh, Y580. For this, we have to uh, unscrew this screw and this screw to the screwdriver. So let me get this one. Unscrew it. Uh. Okay, and this one, screw it. Oh, I've taken out the screws here and here. So I can now open up the bottom. All right, let me first, oh, this is important. You should really um, take out the battery. So make sure that there's no current attached. So I've opened it up and here we have a look at what's inside the Y580. Now we can see that the memory models, the stock ones which came within the laptop, so eight gigabytes uh, stock uh, are here. This is the terabyte hard drive. This is an 265 gigabyte SSD I've built in. This is, I think, the Wi-Fi module. And we'll flip the stock RAM for these new this new um, kit of RAM. Yeah. So if you take your new model, your new memory model, and then you see uh, there's a mark, which means you cannot uh, flip it the wrong way. So you just have to flip it around to, to make the nose fit with the uh, gap inside the memory module put them here into this position until it goes in there by itself and then you have to press it down a bit chop and it will snap into place so i'll do the same with the second one here it is place it neatly Inside the slot. Until it stands up a bit and then just gently press it down until it clicks in. So now you could just um, put the, the case together and build everything up uh, back again and see if it works. But actually, I prefer to do a first demonstration and a first test with the bottom open so that if anything goes wrong, you, you don't have to screw first and unscrew the bottom again. So I'll just put in the battery. So now after the system booted up, uh, we can now see my system memory. You have to press F2 uh, during the startup phase is now uh, enlarged to 16 gigabyte, uh, which is twice the memory it had before. 
So obviously it's possible to upgrade the Y of 580 to 16 gigabyte of RAM. There are rumors on the internet that tell uh, you that you can't do this. Obviously you can. Um, yeah, I like if you enjoyed the video or it helped you uh, upgrading your notebook's memory. I I love if you give me a thumbs up or if you subscribe to my channel. And again, if you want to buy the HyperX Kingston memory yourself, you can just go down in the description. You'll find the link there. Thank you very much for watching.